Um, the next speakers in our lightning round uh, are both from the University of Kansas, Ignacio Car Carvajal and Neil Atay. Um, and they're gonna be speaking to us about their project in Quiche, digital resources for Quiche learning and instruction. Good morning. Uh, this will be a multilingual conversation. Uh, we're very happy to be here. Nela is joining us all the way from Guatemala, from Ishimuleu. Uh, and uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about our work. And the uh, palabra a Nela para que empiece. Sakirik onohelalak. As Nela le nubi. Kimpe paletinamit nawalha rechle ishimule. Kinyahu utsalak pet baschechalak. Maskyoshk amo, spe alak pawekatihonem, a chirich lech abaskichi. Sibalak keki kot le kanima, rumas nim ubantahik, le katihonem kanik. Masharumas, punk inomas. Kiyom kan ri e katat e kanam, ri e katit ri e kamam, pawelo alahuleu. Rumas kula, kohki kotik, rumas kohkowini kohtsihor chuachalak, chuile kachak kabanom, chuile kachak li kakak kakabarak anuk. Kaki kot le wanma, uts bahum pet balalak, paweni malak tsihonem. Chanim kawah a kintzihon hubek chirich le kachak. Kep o ship hunap kanok, shkamahik le kachak, a ruk le achtir Ignacio Carvajal. Shmahitahla le chak, aretak ri are, shumahik le utihonik, pari hunap dos mil tresi, palenima lachtihobat rech tejas. Chilak ut, shu mahihula lechak patan, shu rihlech abas, a aretak shubal le tihonik, ri are, spe paletilamit nawalha, panawalha, kaban wi hun tihonik, chirihlech abas, hawi he, le tihoshela, kek o he cook, le ahupaha, ke tihonik, Ke wa ik, ke ets anik. Si balak nim le hun rikoh ip, kaban waraj paleti honik rech sa ik. Ri are, spe waraj paleti namik, sto ban pale, pale nim alak ti honik rech sa ik, waraj panawal ha. Are la le kachak, he la utikita hik le kachak, he la uchoma shik ash bantah. Kep o ship hunap kanok. Arela le hubek a chopoch shinyachrich le kachak. Maltiosk amo. Maltiosk nena. I'm putting in the chat the link to the first resource that we're going to be speaking about. And I'll do this in English, pero las preguntas pueden ser en español al final. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about which I've worked on or did work on while I was still at the University of Texas, actually, with the help of uh, choral folks, as well as Nela and other instructors and students in Nawala. Uh, it's, a, it's an online um, set of lessons for Kiche learning. Um, there's 41 in total so far, and they're mostly um, arranged around grammatical components or cultural components, mostly grammatical components. We worked with uh, an instructor in Vanderbilt who uh, has created a grammar manual and the sort of base idea was to make that type of grammar manual. So because Kiche, I'll contextualize first, because Kiche is a less commonly taught language, uh, there's a lot fewer examples and input that is available to use uh, for the classes, so a lot of it we're creating from scratch. So uh, which was a choral project, um, was basically trying to make that more interactive and more contextualize it more towards the culture. We chose to do it um, with the Nawala variety. Kiche has different varieties depending on the place 
that in Guatemala that is spoken. And so we chose to do it with uh, the Nahuala variety and had uh, help from the Summer Institute that Nela was mentioning in the, in the prior slide. Um, a little bit about how the, how the um, uh, site is set up. Yeah, each of the lessons uh, deals with either a grammatical aspect or cultural component. And it has different sections, including an introduction, a tzichonik, which we call, um, it's like a, a speech, or a, it can be a text, or it can be a video, or it can be an audio or a dialogue that the students read to sort of get a first glance at the construction or topic or theme that we're looking at in that lesson. Kemchi, meaning grammar, that gives more sort of in-depth grammatical explanations. Kakataktzich, which are new words, literally, so like vocab lists, and then homework that uh, the students can do exercises for. And this is very rud rudimentary, to be perfectly honest. There are sentences, there's no way for them to plug them in and be corrected, but they're basically based on supporting materials that you might use and then go over uh, with an instructor. Uh, but that's sort of the format of the course. Um, and this is a little bit more of what each section might look like. So for example, we have a lesson that is specifically about um, clothing. Uh, and so we have uh, Nan Shep here giving a presentation about the different types of clothing, the Wipi list and uh, other, uh, what they use for, what are the formal ones, what are the more common day use ones, et cetera. Um, and um, in the explanations of the grammar, what we did do was with another instructor, we recorded uh, the sound so that you can listen to the sentences as you read the sample sentences as you go through. So most of um, most of the um, uh, sample sentences will have um, examples that you can hear. Uh, and uh, we also built a companion YouTube channel that I think has been expanded now uh, uh, and have more videos added, but every video that's embedded and more uh, is part of this Coral Kiche channel. Um, and then um, that has uh, YouTube videos, most of which, but not all, because we have to do it, uh, is the uh, our closed caption. And so they will have closed captions in English, closed caption is in Spanish and closed caption in Kiche so that students can put even the Kiche ones uh, as, they, as they learn. So this is the project that we've worked on together. Um, I, I'm still going in there to make corrections sometimes. It was done thanks to the support of Coral. Uh, we did mostly the populating rather than the designing of the, uh, of the site. Uh, so I do take responsibility for any mistakes that are still in there. And now we want to talk a little bit about what we're working on um, towards the future with Kawach. Ignacio. <laughs> Kakah kakaban le chakubal chirich le kemchi. Arechi le etihoshelab nasitak ashre tamashik chkechri are. Chok kakah kakaban hun hun kut bash. Has kiban tahik le winak. Chok has hele uk ashas kakirik palekik asle mal. Areta kakah kakia uchok ablech abal. Hachale tsihonem shban kukle e kahib al tomab. Shban tsihonem puile kichak has he litahinka kibano. Chech uya iku chok ab lech abal. Rumal chech takwe ir sibalak ile has tak lek ak atak has tak tahinka alahinik. Rumal kula rahawashi kaketamar. Has he uko hik kakabano, lik ak atakastak, arechi shahiri, koko winik, kakak ut lech abash, ketamatah lech abash, mash enik archipinak. Ahwara lik takwinak, only kepe nah nakah. Arela, likakah kakabano, mash kiosh. 
Altios Chowech Nela. And so what Nela has spoken a little bit about is the sort of new section of the project that we're dealing with that's sort of wanting to center more Mayan voices in the creation of the materials, right? Uh, I think a lot of the grammatical materials that we've created are great and they're really useful for a variety of students here in the United States, be they linguists, anthropologists, literary scholars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we're trying to really shift uh, toward something that serves uh, communities in Ishimuleo in Guatemala and also diaspora communities here and seeing how we can approach that from like a less technical approach of the language and more sort of uh, collaboration, collaboration methods that can uh, sort of serve the stakeholding communities uh, first, because I think that the, 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 um, the tenet is that we can use those in our classrooms uh, if we design them in that way first, whereas the opposite may not be the case. Um, the thanks could take another 10 minutes, so I will just put this slide up that we have. It, it includes the folks at Coral, like Natalie and Sarah, who are both present in this room, uh, a list of collaborators from uh, Nawala, uh, and Nela, who was my first teacher, teacher uh, and I look up to and learn from every day. And so, if there are any questions, si hay alguna pregunta, podemos contestarlas ahora. In español or in English. Antioch. I saw one question, and just so you know, we have about uh, four minutes left for questions. One person asked, how long have you been having these resources online? Did you see an increase in interest in the language in general because of the resources being OER? Uh, yeah, so the YouTube video has thousands, the YouTube channel has like so many thousands of views. I was just, we're, we're taken aback, uh, really. I mean, I was in grad school doing this, putting them up and trying to get close captioning them. And I was so afraid that they might have uh, uh, mistakes and stuff like that. But yeah, the uh, I think that uh, the sort of YouTube component especially uh, had a really good reception from folks who don't tend to be able to see indigenous languages and Quiche is the most widely speaking one in Guatemala. So um, I think that even in the comments to YouTube questions, people express their gladness to see that type of stuff. The, um, the materials themselves, uh, you often make the rounds around like Twitter and things like that where people are sharing them. And I think that they're in use in, in several of the people that I speak with that teach Quiche, which are not that many in the US, but does, um, but does, um, uh, but it is being used in a couple of places and it is a collaborative effort. So we've used a lot of the materials that have existed. Uh, how many, Kiche, there's Kiche at Vanderbilt, there's Kiche at Tulane has a summer course, we have it here and BYU has it. And I think that's it. También si hay alguna pregunta para Nela. Ella sabe mucho más que yo. O si huecole huecole atzich, ya kepchik minutos colik chani utspakashlanzich o huecawa. I see. What is it? It's completely unrelated to Basque. There might be some contact post invasion, but I'm I'm not familiar with with it. The influence in the Quiche community. That's a really interesting question. This for Pakush, we're collaborating with uh, with a language school uh, this year, uh, and we're trying to make that not a unilateral creation of materials, but a sort of collaborative one. And so I think it is to be determined yet. Um, yeah, an ongoing question. Nela? Lutz Ignacio. Uh, voy a hablar un poco en español. Agradezco uh, por la presencia en, en esta conferencia. Uh, estoy muy, muy uh, contenta por dar a conocer lo que es uh, mi cultura, mi idioma, que uh, ahorita estamos eh, en este proyecto con el profesor Ignacio Carvajal uh, sobre uh, materiales uh, de, de quiche o la enseñanza. Entonces, uh, este es el pequeño 
uh, resumen del trabajo que hemos hecho y lo que queremos hacer en el futuro. Muchas gracias por, por haber estado acá.